Rebels. This is Nikki from Call Me Ruby, and I pray you're having an amazing day or evening. Listen, I have been trying to get a message out for the last few days, but I am visiting my sister and her family, and I'm having a grand time. But I had to just sneak away for a few minutes, and I'm sitting in the car, and I had to share with you all the things God has been placing on my heart that have just brought me so much joy, so much expectation, and I just have to share that with you all. Listen, I want to welcome my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited for all of you who have decided to join this family. I'm excited about where God is taking us. I'm excited about what he's doing in our lives and how he's going to use us in this new season. Are you all excited? Listen, okay, I'm calm down. I'm so excited about this word because, like I said, I've been trying to get it out for days. And then this morning, God decides to download more. I'm like, God, I haven't even got the other one out. But when the father wants to speak, he wants to speak. So, okay, this morning, you all, I just... Immediately upon waking up, God began to speak the most beautiful things to my spirit. And how you will know that this is for you is because it will resonate deep within your spirit. Because God's been speaking to you this for quite some time now. And you're feeling it in your spirit. You're feeling the expectation. You're feeling the excitement. You're feeling the pressure. And yes, I'm talking about birthing pangs. Okay? We are in labor. God is just so strategic and so amazing. And I just love the way he just brings things together to further confirm what he is doing in this hour. Y'all, I'm trying to calm down so I won't talk too fast. This morning, God began to speak to me immediately about birthing about the fact that we are indeed pushing these visions out we're pushing out dreams we're pushing out purpose we're pushing out these kingdom marriages you all there is just so much being birthed in this season in this hour i'm simply confirming where god has you and just here to just push you and just to encourage you and to uplift you and to edify you to just keep pushing okay y'all keep pushing wait a minute did i just Pull a full dory from Finding Nemo. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Y'all get it? Just keep pushing. So listen, 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 listen. This morning, upon waking, God brought back a song that he had brought to me in the last message. And this song was entitled, Your Best is Yet to Come. And it was a version that was by Don Donald Lawrence, yes, Donald Lawrence, and he just began to cause us to play over and over in my spirit. And I'm just going to pull out the chorus from that song, and it went like this. It said, your best, your best is yet to come. And it just kept repeating that, your best, your best is yet to come. And the line that really grabbed me was, this is the first day of the best days of of your life God is saying this process may be tough this process may be trying you are feeling the pressure of these birthing pains but guess what your best is yet to come it's about to be the first day of the best days of your life just like a natural pregnancy once that baby is laid upon your breast the best days of your life begin you don't think nothing about what you had to go through to get that gift. You're just so elated that it's finally here and it changes your life forever. That is what is about to happen in your life. These kingdom spouses that God has chosen for you for such a time as this is going to cause this to be the first day of the best days of your life. Y'all better get excited. And while this spouse is going to bring you joy, unmeasurable God doesn't want you to focus only on that aspect of it, but he wants you to focus on the joy and the fulfillment that's going to come from just being burst forth into purpose. You two were chosen for a divine purpose. And together, I cannot stress that enough, together you all are going to just do some serious things for the Lord, some serious things for his kingdom. And that is why he's indeed causing an acceleration in regards to these unions. And that is why you are about to be celebrating the best days of your life and so it was after that song God brought back the conversation between me and my niece from yesterday and in that moment I was not aware of how strategic God was being and how intentional he was being it wasn't until God began to bring all this stuff back after that song yesterday for whatever reason me and my niece were talking about pregnancy and labor 
And I know it was nothing but the Lord that led us there. She is 22 years old and she is single with no kids. And she was just expressing to me her fears and concerns about just pregnancy and labor in general. But let me backtrack. I forgot to mention something that's very, very important. Okay, so also yesterday, right before God downloaded all this stuff, the song and, you know, the conversation between me and my niece, he dropped in my spirit upon waking. Birth is inevitable. Birth is inevitable inevitable let's look at the definition of inevitable you all know i like definitions so when i googled the word inevitable as always god really ministered to me through that and the definition was simply something that cannot be avoided it is certain to happen another definition even say it is impossible to avoid something that's inevitable it's impossible you cannot prevent this from happening God is speaking to a select few that birth is inevitable hear me in the spirit he's saying that you are right the pressure that you're currently feeling and experiencing are indeed birthing pains you are pushing you are in labor I feel that all in my spirit you all God is wanting you to know that you are at the point of no return. And birth is inevitable. I just really need y'all to get that in your spirit. Because it's just bubbling up right now. And I just feel the urgency on it. And I just feel the Father's heart in wanting you to know birth is inevitable. There's nothing you can do now but push. There's nothing you can do now but just allow God to finish his completed work. He is he who has caused those contractions to intensify, who has caused your service to dilate because it's simply the set time. Some of us have already birthed this thing. I'm seeing testimonies. I'm hearing testimonies. I'm seeing people around me, you know, getting in relationships, meeting people. God is not playing. I cannot stress that enough. He is not playing. Birth is inevitable. For the newest subscribers, um, I have shared in previous videos that I was married several years ago. That marriage ended in divorce and I have been divorced for almost eight years now. And I have two amazing teenagers from that marriage. Just wanted to give you a little history in case you were not aware that I had children as I proceed to share this. And as me and my niece proceeded to talk about, you know, pregnancy and labor, I was telling her about how with my children, I wanted to have a supernatural birth. And what I meant by supernatural is that I was believing God to, you know, assist me as it pertains to pain management and to be able to do this without medications and to be able to just flow out ever you know I needed to flow I was even given a book that was entitled supernatural childbirth by a woman at my former church and that book was amazing and that book just had me so excited and it just made me want to pursue this thing even more and I was like, yes, Lord, we're going to have a supernatural birth. We're going to do this thing because I know that with you, I can do this. I can do this. So I was just saying all that with her. And I began to explain to her about how <laughs> when those labor pains began to ensue, I was like, uh oh, oh, Lord, you all, as I got to the hospital and I began to progress in my labor, those pains began to do some serious zing zings. And I was like, uh, hmm. Okay, Lord, I know what we talked about. I know what the goal is here, but I just got a quick little question here. Just give me a roundabout number on how far up on the pay meter this here is going to go. Talk about shaking in your boots. How many of us, once the labor process has begun, hear this in terms of your future spouse? Things don't go as expected and you start to fear. You begin to doubt your course of action, how God has spoken to you regarding how he's going to do things. I now know that I could have followed through with my plan to birth my children naturally. Because at the point where I decided to get the medicine, it was still bearable. It wasn't comfortable. It wasn't pleasant. But it was still bearable. But because of my fear, because of the unknown, because I didn't know how bad it was going to get, I opted out and got the epidural. 
in you all. I was just thinking about that in the spiritual. God was bringing this all back to me this morning. He was saying, so many of us are at the brink. We are at the stage of this final push. We are about to see this thing manifest. And God is doing so much in both of us. These men know. For some of us, our husbands now know who we are. As he shared in the last video, God has got them in position. Okay, He's got them all the way together. And they are figuring out their best approach. They are seeking God on how to approach you. I hope you know my daughter and my daughters and my sons that it is the appointed time now listen God wants you to embrace every part of this process he wants you to feel and experience every aspect of this all that you've gone through to get here and he wants you to realize it all had purpose he wants you to experience it all and understand that he has given you everything you need for this pending birth to push this thing, to see it to full term. Do not be afraid of the unexpected. Do not be caught up in what you don't see right now, what doesn't feel pleasant to you, what may be a situation where you think, oh, they're talking to so-and-so and they seem to be interested in so-and-so and, and they haven't reached out yet or whatever it may be. Do not be caught of God. Do not be distracted by what you may be seeing or experiencing. God is saying, focus on what you and I have said in the secret place. Focus on my words that I gave you. Focus on the things that I've been giving you in your spirit, the confirmations, the knowing, all these things that I've been causing to be so evident in your life so you can know what I'm doing. And don't be afraid of the unexpected. Don't try to predict my steps. Don't go by anything other than what I have been saying to you. And that's what he brought back to me when I was thinking about how I was just so sad and just so serious about my supernatural birth. But was so discombobulated, confused, and scared. Okay, not scared, but scared when those pains began to intensify. And what made it even worse, you all, was that it was close to the actual pushing stages. It was time to push. Hear that in the spirit. Do not wait until the last minute, right before you start pushing, to change up the plan, to start doubting, to start being fearful. There are going to be things that will try to come to distract you. I know because it's happened to me, and I can guarantee you that it's happening to a lot of you. Bless our hearts. A lot of us are just doing extra at this point because we are contracting because the pressure is intense because we know this thing is so close some of us are just all over the place and bless our heart god understands but he just wants us to bring all that to him so he can cause us to remember our breathing techniques some many as a matter of fact are beginning to think things like you know maybe i just heard god wrong maybe i'm supposed to be with this individual because they're showing me more attention. They're doing all the things and expressing all the things that I thought this individual would be doing. Maybe my ex reaching out to me is a sign that he's the one. And listen, <laughs> the king daddy of them all is when we say things like, you know, I feel this is what the Lord is saying, but if it's not, it's okay also. It's okay if it's not what God is saying. And I, I get the heart of that. I get the intent of that. I understand that we want to always be on board with what God wants. But when we say things like that, it's just providing a cushion for us in case we're wrong. And God is saying, put your full weight into this. Put your full weight into what I've been speaking to you. It's totally understandable that we don't want to appear foolish. But God is saying, be like Mary when Gabriel appeared to her. Mary was like, this doesn't make sense to me in the natural, but let it be according to your will. Let it be whatever you desire for me. Mary was about that faith life. She was like, listen, it's what the Lord said, period. And that is what God's desiring from you. He just, he wants you to just get beyond the point of looking crazy. Listen, we're telling ourselves so many things when God is saying birth is inevitable. Whatever I told you, whatever I whispered to your spirit, Whatever I've been confirming over and over again, that and that alone is what you are birthing. God brought forth that seed. 
He spoke this thing into your life and he's caused you to be able to nurture that thing. He's given you everything you need to nurture that baby, to cause it to mature, to cause it to be brought to full term. And it's time. It's time. There's no backing out. There's no turning back. God's saying there is no turning back. Your faith has caused it to grow. Your obedience has caused it to grow. And he's made sure you learn everything you were supposed to learn. And you have passed the course with flying colors. You are birthing this thing forth now. It is now. There's no more delay. Get this. Even what may have been delayed on your end, God had already factored that in. And it was still, and is still, the appointed time. Because he sees far ahead of what we could ever see. God's timing is perfected time and it is indeed his appointed time it's your due date oh y'all better catch that it is your due date so many of us are just so ready to birth this thing already some of us have been waddling around for so long and we're just like lord we've enjoyed this pregnancy we've enjoyed all that came with it but it is time we're tired not tired but tired can I get a hallelujah, amen, and a toe touch? Even those around you are like, ooh, Lord, send that man now. Send him now. Let her deliver now. Because <laughs> I know some of y'all been cutting up. Oh, I know you've been cutting up. Let me get back on track, you all. It's late, and I'm just so fun to be around when it's late. <laughs> so let me get back. I digress. Men, folk. If the Lord has been urging you and nudging you to go get your favor factor, get to stepping. Do what he asks. The sooner you are obedient, the more the pressure will ease on both ends. And ladies, if God just told you to relax, rest, don't get anxious, don't get afraid, don't become fearful and start wanting to take matters into your own hands or whatever is going on. God is saying, relax. And just allow it to happen naturally. Just like in childbirth, God created our bodies to be able to naturally flow as he desired. We know, our bodies know how to birth this thing. Our bodies know how to birth this baby. And God has given us everything we need to see this thing manifest. He is watching over his word, hovering over this word to see that it is fulfilled. Jeremiah 1.12 states, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. My word is fulfilled. That's the only word that truly matters. His word. Unless you are speaking that which he spoke to you. God is making sure that exactly what he said is what takes place in your life. And it's happening now. God wrote this down so beautifully today, you all. I was just thinking about the whole birthing process and how I had wanted to do it naturally and how nowadays most women have their babies in the hospital and they have their babies lying down because you know with certain medications you have no choice. You don't have the freedom to move around and, and just flow with whatever works best for you. And listen, let me put this disclaimer right here before someone comes for me because this is not about how you birth your babies, okay? This is not a message about what's right or what's wrong. This is just me allowing God to flow and share how he broke this thing down to me. Okay, so in hindsight, like I said earlier, I believe that I could have had my children naturally. If I had just put on some worship music and just let the Lord just occupy my spirit, my mind, I could have done it. Also, he created our bodies to naturally know what to do. And we just need to follow that lead. One thing the Lord brought to me is how, you know, standing doing labor is considered to be one of the most easy peasy ways to birth a baby many cultures still embrace it many individuals who are now choosing home births or birthing centers where they have freedom to do and move as they please the birthing process becomes an easier and more pleasant experience i'm not saying it feels good but it will be a more pleasant experience studies show that standing during birthing causes your labor to progress faster when you are upright your womb is tilted forward this causes better contractions 
and less pain. You're not fighting gravity, but you're working with gravity. Hear that in the spirit, you all. When you're allowing your body to flow as it flows naturally, when you're trusting the process, trusting that God made your body to do this because he indeed did, things flow as they should. You're not fighting the natural progression, but you're working with it. You're allowing it to do what it do. When we're not fully assured that the Father has gone ahead of us and worked all these things out, that He's made every crooked path straight, that He has made it to where we win in the end, and that birth is inevitable, it causes complications. It causes the birth to be prolonged. And that is what the Father is wanting you to hear. He's wanting you to trust the process, trust where He has you. See that standing as a spiritual stance. When you are aligned with the Father, when you are in line with his perfect will and plan for your life, when you know where you are, which is now your birthing season, you are able to hear and follow God's instructions. You, you know when to rest. You know when to pray. You know when to read the word. You know when to stand. You know when to sit. You know when to rock. Are you hearing me in the spirit? It's all about allowing God to lead and guide you through this birthing. Listen, that is a supernatural birth, if any. Who doesn't want God to be their doctor? Who doesn't want God to be their nurse? God wants to guide you through this process. And he has given you all the tools and the facets to have a safe delivery. <laughs> the way he just downloaded this is just amazing. The Lord said that when you are standing, that standing is a posture of strength, trust, and flexibility. Hear that in the spirit. Strength, trust, and and flexibility those are facets those are things that the Lord needs from you during this birthing process he needs you to be strong the father says lean upon my strength my child lean on me he needs you to be strong he needs you to trust him and he needs you to be flexible when you're lying down during your birthing process that's only so much you can do from that posture but when you are able to be upright, to stand, you're able to flow wherever the Father leads. Are y'all hearing that in the Spirit? You're able to do exactly what is needed at each giving step of this birthing process. Ooh, y'all, I'm getting excited. Ooh, okay, I hear you, Lord. Are y'all hearing me? Just like in natural birthing, if you're able to walk, your spouse is able to walk with you when you need to walk. They can kneel with you when you need to kneel. They can even hold you when you need to be held. They can rock and sway with you as you need to rock and sway. There's an amount of flexibility that is available that helps assist this birthing process. It makes it more comfortable. It causes an acceleration. See all of that as the Father assisting you through this process. Has He not been there with you from the very beginning as you allow, as you surrender your own will? And allow him to do what he needs to do during this process. Has he not been there through every step? Well, he wants to be a part of this step. This is not like the old days when, you know, the spouse wasn't allowed in the room during this process. God says, let him in. He is he who has brought you to this point, who has birthed this thing in you. And the thing that God just dropped in my spirit that he says is so important. You signify your agreement with the father when you stand with him. And stand for what he is calling you to stand for. Ooh, y'all. Ooh. Oh, okay. Y'all. Are y'all excited? I can't be too loud because it's like past midnight and most are asleep in this house. But if I could, I would be so loud and I would have some songs for you all. But listen, I can't do that right now. But just know that my spirit is leaping at what the Lord just dropped. Boom. Y'all. Are y'all hearing this? God is wanting you to co-partner with him. Your stance of standing is showing that you are on board with what he is doing. That pertains to whom he chose for you or whom he is choosing for you if you don't know yet. And also the process, the course of action. He wants you to be in agreement with it all. And I also hear in the spirit that standing also means not bowing to anything other than what he instructs. This can pertain to counterfeits, it can pertain to delays, it can pertain to anything that is a distraction and is trying to hinder what the Lord is doing. 
Another thing the Lord highlighted to me as I was studying about birthing is that, you know, there are less interventions when you allow things to flow naturally. There are fewer interventions. There are fewer, you know, the complications. There's just less to worry about. Who doesn't want fewer interventions? We don't want to have to keep being sat down by the Father to learn the same lesson over and over and over again to allow things to be prolonged because we want to keep putting our hands in things because we don't believe this, because we don't believe that, because we're looking at what we see and we listen to the voices that are contrary to what God is saying. Listen for His voice alone and allow Him to lead and guide you through this birthing. It is just so much easier that way and you will have less interventions. God wants you to remember your breathing exercises. That's faith. That's wisdom. That's knowledge. That's confirmation. It's worship. It's the word of God. It's his rama. Use your breathing techniques. So often we underestimate the power in breathing techniques and the spiritual breathing techniques. Listen, if you apply them, it will change your whole birthing process. Although I know this has been presented from a spiritual aspect, I just want to also be sensitive to those who, you know, who may have experienced some difficult situations and just express that this has nothing to do with choices that were made, but it's all about how God is choosing to deliver this message. So overall, I just want to encourage you all that birth is inevitable. You are at the birthing stage. Hear that in the spirit. Whether you feel ready or not. If God has told you this is your birthing season. That you're about to birth this thing. That you're about to receive this promise of a spouse. It's happening. It is happening. And I don't care what you're telling yourself. I don't care what you're seeing. It's inevitable. I hope you have your bag packed. And as if all that was not enough. The Lord then said. They are here. They are here. Your husbands are here. And this is for a select group of individuals. You know who you are. You know the season you're in. You know what God's been speaking to your spirit and confirming. And he's saying they are here. And for someone or for some, the Lord has dropped in your spirit to expect a phone call. He has told you to expect a phone call. And he has sent me here to confirm that yes, you heard him. Because listen, it is hard out here in these kingdom spouse standing streets. It's hard out here. And while I am always hesitant to share certain things, I am always and have always been so very careful. I know I don't even have to go into why. I know y'all feel me in the spirit. The Lord was like, listen, it's time out for all that. You do what thus saith the Lord. I know I wasn't trying to put limits on what God could do or say through me. Ooh, child. God was like, listen, 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 let me tell you something. <laughs> there I go again. Let me get back to what I was saying. And like I said, for someone or either for some, expect a phone call. And he was very specific about it being a phone call. And the exact words I heard were, it's too weighty. It's too weighty to be done by DM or text. What this individual wants to share with you is too much for DM or text. Now they may reach out to you via text or DM first if they don't have your information. I don't know how it's gonna happen. I just know what I heard and he said it was gonna be a phone call. He just dropped in that it was he who has instructed this individual to call you. It was God's instructions that you have to do this via the phone. They simply cannot hold on to this any longer. They can't keep it inside. They have to share with you their thoughts, their heart, their spirit. Because God has made it to where they can't help but to do so. He has stirred up their spirit so much so that they cannot wait to get this to you. For others, it might be an in-person visit. It might be a DM. It might be a text. But I specifically heard this morning in my spirit that some of you were about to get a phone call. A phone call that was just going to change your life. God is just, y'all, this is why it takes me forever to upload because things just keep happening. As I was finishing up this video, I'm talking about, you know, it's about to happen. You're about to get this phone call. This whole message about birthing. You all, 
a couple literally walked by the window pushing a baby in a stroller. God's got something to say, y'all. I'm almost speechless. And for me, that's a hard thing to do. I, I just had to pause and I just... A baby stroller, you all? A baby stroller. You are about to deliver. Listen, when this happens, for whomever this is for, when this happens, if you feel led of the Lord, please share your testimony to encourage others who are indeed standing and believing for this manifested promise. It does wonders and God desires your testimony. Like I say, if you feel led to at that time, because sometimes, you know, he wants you to hold on to it for whatever reason. But if you feel led of the Lord, share your testimonies so others can see and experience what the Lord is doing. Y'all, they are coming. You all cannot tell me that God does not have a sense of humor. He cracks me up, you all. When I said they are coming, why did I get a vision of a stampede? Of a stampede of cattle or was it a cattle I think it was cattle but it was a stampede for sure and I heard you know the sounds that the hoofs make it was just y'all they're coming they are coming when God was downloading all this stuff to me about the birthing process and what have you I logged onto Google and saw that a celebrity had just birthed a baby and I'm very careful about throwing out people's names so I'm not gonna say who it is you probably know who it is if you're up to the current events or what have you but I saw that a popular couple, celebrity couple, had just birthed a baby. And then on top of that, my sister comes in the room and she says, Oh, how cute. My neighbor's expecting. She just sent me an image of her sonogram. <laughs> you all, I'm telling you, God does not play when it comes to confirming and sealing the words that he gives to me. So I was like, thank you, Lord. God is saying, birth is inevitable, you all. Have I said that enough? Listen, you all be encouraged because you're about to birth this baby. And for some of you, you have had a long labor. Listen, a long labor. And you are overly excited to finally see this thing manifest. So celebrate because it's here. Let me pray with you all. Lord Jesus, we just come to you. We just thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for your love, your grace, your favor, your mercy, all your goodness that you bestow upon us with each and every day. We ask that you forgive us for anything that we've done, Lord God, known and unknown. Thank you, Lord God, that you're renewing within us a right spirit, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that as we submit ourselves unto you and this process of meeting our future spouse, that you are meeting us where we are, Lord God, that you're giving us instructions, that you're giving us peace, that you're giving us a knowing to know that everything you say up until this point is so and that we are indeed in our birthing phase we thank you lord god for your instructions we thank you lord god for your wisdom we thank you lord god for giving us directions lord god in regards to what to do and what not to do we thank you lord god for causing us to know the right position to birth this thing lord god posture us lord god in the right position align us to your perfect will and plan for this birthing phase we thank you lord god for we reach out to you we call out to you lord god we want only what you have for us only the way lord god that you have saw it from the very beginning of time we are so excited Excited, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for loving us and guiding us and leading us, Lord God, to this final phase, the finally phase, Lord God, which we're going to see this thing manifest, Lord God. We give you honor, we give you glory, and we give you all the praise, Lord God. And we're so ready to testify, Lord God, because we will make your name great. We will give you all the glory, Lord God, for what you've done in our lives, and it will draw many. It will draw many, Lord God. And that's what it's all about. Ooh, y'all, I'm excited. This is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all, I'm just going to finish. I am just so excited, full of joy, full of expectancy. Listen, I pray that you were able to be in agreement with that prayer because when I pray, oh, it's going to be fast, 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 fast. Like I said, I'm working on it, but I just pray that your spirit was in agreement, and that you were able to grab on to what thus said the Lord. Lord God, just pray that you just allow them to know that it's here, it's here, it's here, and to grasp and to do this final push in Jesus' mighty name. Leave your testimonies, you all. Leave your testimonies. Whew, I love you guys so much. I just pray that this blessed you, it edified you, it encouraged you, it brought you joy, it brought you peace, it provided whatever was needed for you on this day. God is doing so much, you all. God is causing multiple births in this season. I'm excited about it. So take this back to the Lord. Allow Him to expound on this even more. Allow Him to feed you even more. 
in regards to what he's saying and doing get your final birthing instructions listen i want to thank you all always want to thank you all for the kind words your encouragement the love you have showed me i've only had this channel for a little over two months and you all you have blessed my socks off this channel is not about me this channel is about us this is our channel and this is about what god is doing in our lives please know that i love you so much i'm praying for you and listen the best is yet to come love and blessings